Hello everyone. Welcome to Catherine's ESL Classroom. In today's lesson, we are going to focus on a few versus a little. You ever wonder why you're not able to understand the differences between few and a little? It's because you need to learn more about countable nouns versus non-countable nouns. So let's get started and learn some more. Again, today's lesson, how to use few versus a little. In this lesson, as I mentioned before, we're going to focus on countable versus uncountable nouns, how to use a few, how to use a little, and a review quiz. Countable nouns, such as the apples, is you can, you can number them one, two, three, four. So you can count them. Countable nouns refer to things that can be counted. They have singular and plural forms. For example, one apple or four apples. What countable nouns can you think of? Some examples are books, dogs, bananas, students, pencils. Now we have uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns refer to things that can't be counted. For example, paint, you can't count the paint. Now I'm not talking about the paint can, I'm talking about the actual paint that's inside of the paint can. Another example is bread, water, rice, money. So now how to use a few versus a little. A few, we use a few with plural countable nouns. Example one, there are a few bottles on the table. Another example is I will meet a few friends for lunch today. A little, we use a little with uncountable nouns. For example, there is a little milk left in the fridge. Another example is, I ate a little bread for breakfast. A few or a little, quiz time. Are you ready for your challenge? A few or a little, you decide. There are blank cookies in the cupboard. So I'll help you with this one. There are a few cookies in the cupboard or there are a little cookies in the cupboard. What are you picking? A few, did you get it? I read a few books at the weekend. I read a little book at the weekend. Hmm, what could it be? A few, I read a few books at the weekend. Now we can also say, I read a few books on the weekend. Did you notice the preposition? We can say at the weekend or we can say on the weekend. You know me with those challenges. I spilled blank water on my dress. I spilled a few water on my dress. I spilled a little water on my dress. I think this one's too easy. I spilled a little water on my dress. I have blank pencils in my bag. I have a few pencils in my bag or I have a little pencils in my bag. I have a few pencils in my bag. 
there is still blank time left to study for the exam. There is still a few time left to study for the exam, or there is still a little time left to study for the exam. A little. There is still a little time left to study for the exam. Did you get that one? Is this too easy? Great job. Well done. Well, I hope everyone understands a little bit more about how to use a few versus a little. Knowing your countable and uncountable nouns helps you learn this a little bit better. Well, until next time, bye.